Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing all oh, the place And the mountains in reply Echoing their joyous strains Welcome to Back to the Bible. Today's topic, Isaiah, a child is born. 700 years before Jesus was born, the prophet Isaiah saw him coming. His record is in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Isaiah saw that this child was unique. He was born and he was given. In other words, this child was both God and man. As man, he was born and shared in sinless human nature. As God, he was given the Father's love gift to a sinful world. This child would be God in human flesh. What would this child do? He would grow up and one day take the government of mankind upon his shoulder and bring order and peace to a world filled with confusion and war. But before taking the government upon his shoulder, he would first take a cross upon his shoulder and then die upon that cross bearing in his body the sins of the world. Before he could wear the diadem of glory as king of kings he had to wear a shameful crown of thorns and give his life as a sacrifice for the sins of the world. The kingly loin of the tribe of Judah first had to come as the lowly Lamb of God. For until sin had been paid for, God's righteous government could not be established. This is taken from His Name is Wonderful, written by Warren Wiersbe. The following words are taken from The Darkness Turns to Dawn by Timothy Dudley Smith. The darkness turns to dawn. The day spring shines from heaven. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given. The Son of God Most High, before all else began, a virgin's son, behold him lie, the newborn son of man. How rich his heavenly home! How poor his human birth! As mortal man he stoops to come, the light and life of earth. Verse for today. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 7 Your step for today Meditate on the future power and glory of that baby born in Bethlehem. Even now you can turn the government of your life over to Jesus. Write down a list of things you would like to turn over to him today. 
Prayer for today. Pray for help in turning over specific areas of your life to Jesus. God bless you.